Oh, quiet. Hey guys, and we're back with the Manchester United career mode episode 6. So there are really some, there, there are some good matches here. So Man United have not seen for us in this video. And Newcastle United hop in and enjoy. And Rasmus Hoyland is in form. Lights beaming down. I'm Derek Ray, positioned here on the commentary gantry, and alongside me at the microphone is Stuart Robson. And it's all about action from the Premier League in this case. It is Nottingham Forest taking on Manchester United. Well, thanks, Derek. The best coach I played under would always tell us before kickoff, earn the right to play. If you can win your individual battles, outrun your opponent, eventually you'll get the space to show your ability. I'm sure that's being echoed by the coaches here today. Using all his defensive acumen to cut it out. And here's how Nottingham Forest will line up. Well, on paper, it's down as a 4-5-1. But for me, it's more likely to be a split midfield with three supporting the front man and two sitting that little bit deeper as defensive cover. The lineup for Manchester United. Bruno Fernandes plays alongside Frankie de Jong in this. And a chance for the lead. wanted a victory Manchester United in the last game but instead a draw against Aston Villa what do you expect this time Stuart well it wasn't a great game no goals and not too many chances which was disappointing for their fans but if they show a little bit more energy going forward to duck the referee spotted the infringement and it will be a free kick in a position of genuine menace oh narrowly wide so unlucky Well, it's tight at the top and extremely tense, just as we would want it, Stuart. Well, it looks like being a very close race for the title, doesn't it? There's nothing to choose between the teams, but can one of them just go on a great run and pull away? High pressing at its best. Really fine piece of defending play to break us up. Really good example of Gegen pressing, and he's made headway. Oh, that's an expert piece of defending, just as it was looking threatening. Fernandes. Will it be? Oh, my goodness! He's caught that so well! A goal of the highest class! Fantastic technique! Well, here's the replay. What a superb volley this is. He strikes it so cleanly, and he times it perfectly. One nil then. Quaresma. Giovanni Reina. Dominguez. Perfectly positioned to take it away. De Jong. Oh, that one has promise. Not a shame that he couldn't find the target from there. Bruno Fernandes. Wasted chance. Easy for the goalkeeper. And now we find out it was offside anyway. Eduardo Quaresma. Tavares. Pressure applied. Now well, the referee allowing the play to flow. Nicolas Dominguez. Well, still searching for the equaliser, but not passing it anxiously. Oh, he's lost possession. He must finish. Oh, magnificent save. Well, he's just pulled off a great save there. What reaction from the goalkeeper that was. Well, he stumped it out of there without much fuss.
Rashford. Rashford can be problematic for opposing defenders. It's got to be! And the goalkeeper expertly anticipated that through ball. And totalling up all the stoppages, we'll have two additional minutes. Dallo. Cutting the ball back. Crucial piece of defending. That is that. The second half underway. United with the advantage, but no room for complacency. Good distribution. And they couldn't quite muster a real threat. More than decent this from United. Can he put it in? And up for grabs off the keeper. And he clears the danger. Well, you can probably see why we're focusing on this fellow as one to watch. Stewart, in particular, what do you expect to see from him? Well, he's certainly on fire at the moment. He looks fit, he looks sharp, and he's full of confidence. He's just been too hot to handle, and I fully expect him to score again today and eventually break that record. Good technique displayed. Oh, a tremendous reflex action there from the keeper. Well, he didn't have long to react, did he? But that's a top-class save, I have to say. And clearing it away. That's a useful cross. And not cleared away properly. Well, a poor effort from a difficult angle, Stuart. Well, he took the wrong decision there. He surely had to cut that back. From one side of the pitch to the other. Bruno Fernandes has it. Diogo Dallo. On to De Jong. Good-looking sequence, this. Shaw, unable to make the mark with that cross. Reina. Williams. Well, this is the home of live football, and we'll have live coverage of the third round of the FA Cup for you. It's Manchester United facing Fulham. Well, it's great to have a break from the league for the players and the fans. Everybody loves this competition, and so do I. It should be a good game. And the emphasis is on creativity. Good visualisation and execution. Oh, it could be. He's gone and found the net. Brilliant piece of finishing. Magnificent goal. Well, here it is again. And what a perfect cross into the box this is just inviting someone to attack it but then you have to ask what's going on with the defending he's afforded far too much time nowhere near enough pressure on him and they're punished as a result twenty minutes remaining not a great pass might be onto something with that ball and a fine cross Oh, could be an opportunity here. Dallo. And thwarted there following the cross. It's going to be United's free kick. And the substitution will occur now. And deep into the penalty area. Just the clearance that was needed. Now can they counter clinically? And a chance to whip it in here. Safe pair of hands, did his job. Marcus Rashford. Manchester United venture forward. Do they have a winning... Oh, a goal! And is that going to be the one that wins it for them? There's every chance, and the fans are lapping this up. Well, as you can see from the replay, it's the perfect through ball from Rashford. And then the finish is fairly simple in the end. That's a good goal. Well, a dramatic moment near the end. And that might well be the decider. And the referee allowing the game to flow, using advantage. And the cross goes in. 
Got to it easily, the keeper. And the penalty has been given here. Chance to even things up here. A goal! Calmly taken spot kick. And level again here. This has been quite the roller coaster ride. And the referee has awarded the free kick. He tried to play advantage, but it wasn't forthcoming. Now they're going to alter things. Here's the substitution. Very quick thinking there. So three minutes of stoppage time it'll be. And Forrest will get the throw in. Giovanni Reina. And there it is, the final whistle. It is a game of massive significance. Only four teams remain in the hunt for the Carabao Cup. Who's going to come out on top in this semi-final? It's Newcastle United. They face Manchester United. And it's live on EA TV. Hello and a warm welcome to a stadium that always oozes passion, St. James's Park. My name is Derek Ray and joining me for commentary is Stuart Robson. Only four teams are left in this cup competition. We're at the semi-final stage, and this is the first leg. It's Newcastle United versus Manchester United. This should be a great tactical battle. Which team is going to have the courage to try and win the game, and which team will be fearful of losing? The game plan of each coach will certainly be key today, Derek. Encouraging stuff from United, but nothing comes of it. Good defending it was. And the free kick awarded to Manchester United. Well, he'll be a bit deflated following that effort, but he was being tightly marked. So they starting 11 for Newcastle United. Nick Pope gets the nod between the posts. Matt Target plays with Kieran Trippier as fullbacks. And the attack is led today by Alexander Isak. Well, nothing for them to worry about in the end. Good defending. Well, Manchester United have chosen this particular shape. Bruno Fernandes plays alongside Frankie de Jong in the centre of midfield. And the idea is to have just the one striker up there trying to pose problems for the opposition. Well, the flag has gone up here. Offside it is. Well, a heightened sense of anticipation. I say that because it's his very first game for the club. Well, they were looking a bit thin in the middle of the park. They had to reinforce, and it's a good bit of business in that sense. It will be interesting to see how he settles in. It can take time, but hopefully he get off to a quick start. And he's got the beating of his opponent. Almiron. Guimaraes. Anthony Gordon. Clean challenge. United might be able to cash in. Fine cross into the middle. No nonsense clearance. That's a foul, and it will be a potentially dangerous free kick. Oh, terrific free kick. And how well the keeper did to parry it. And United have the corner. Abusive language will not be tolerated in the stadium. Thank you. Casimiro. Bruno Fernandes. Can he apply the finish? 
That is a very fine challenge in difficult circumstances. Fernandes, can he put it away here? Well, hit on the volley, terrific strike. Well, it's a very difficult technique, but I actually think he should be scoring there. Tar. Target with it. Isaac. Anthony Gordon. Oh, great attacking play. Crossed in there and keeping it out. Well, they've been frustrated for quite a while now, but these fans have suddenly come to life. And still an opportunity. And the danger is averted. Can he finish? Well, somehow the goalkeeper got to it. Who can he pick out? Well, a bit short with the clearance. Reading it well. And defensive play to be applauded. Counter-attacking very much an option. De Jong. Well, that one has promise. And a foul in the opinion of the referee. Now, what can they do from this free-kick situation? And rattling the post. Well, they can bring it out now. It's a fine United move in the making. No-nonsense clearance. And totalling up all the stoppages, we'll have two additional minutes. Almiron. Trippier. Can he put them in front? And the referee has given it. It will be a penalty. Can they forge ahead? A goal! Accurate from the spot. Let's take another look. He deceives the goalkeeper really well here by getting to dive one way before placing it into the opposite side. A really good penalty. Well, we're up the half. So underway again, the Magpies with the lead, but this game far from being done and dusted. Almiron, and a decent save, full credit. Here's Luke Shaw, onto De Jong. Since they have the ball, the referee playing advantage here. And Newcastle using width to good effect. Clearance left a bit to be desired. Oh, a powerful effort. Close. Well, we wondered if this deal was going to be done. In fact, it has now been done, Stuart. Well, he's certainly got ability. A lot of clubs have been in for him, but now he needs to fulfil that potential. Oh, they might score here, Stewart. Blocking it. Oh, keeper dealt with it. One terrific save after another. Well read to put an end to that attack. It's a clever run here from Rashford. Shaw. Plenty of players waiting in the middle. Can they convert? Nicely saved. And a confident clearance. And it was a menacing attack, but tidied up. And we have more live Premier League action coming up for you soon on EA TV. It's Newcastle United facing Manchester City.
Well, on you go, says the referee. Advantage. Now, who can he play it to? A glorious chance. Oh, a tremendous reflex action there from the keeper. Well, he didn't have long to react, did he? But that's a top-class save, I have to say. Played over. Well, he failed to get it away properly. Trying to open up the defence. In he goes! Here at St. James's Park. I'm Derek Ray, and ready with his tactics board alongside me is Stuart Robson, my commentary partner. And what we have coming up for you is the semi-final first leg in the Cup. It's Newcastle United up against Manchester United. This should be a great tactical battle. Which team is going to have the courage to try and win the game, and which team will be fearful of losing? The game plan of each coach will certainly be key today, Derek. Going to get a try, and how about that for a save? In the short corner, let's see. Crossing into the middle. Well, hit with ferocity when accuracy was required. And nicely over the top. And here's the Newcastle formation. Nick Pope gets the nod between the posts. Matt Target plays with Kieran Trippier as fullbacks. And the attack is led today by Alexander Isak. Well, clattered away. This is the team Manchester United will go with. Bruno Fernandes plays alongside Frankie de Jong in the centre of midfield. And in this tactical setup, they have just the one player in attack. And at the far post, it's Marcus Rashford. It comes to nothing in the end. Into the advanced position. Corner given to United. Enjoying time and space here. And a goal! The opener in the semi-final. First goal of the contest. Well, here's the replay, and it's a really inviting ball played into the box, begging players to attack it. And it's a comfortable finish in the end, which is made to look so easy. It's a lovely goal. Well, the ball is moving once more. How important will that opening goal prove to be? Matt Target. Jonathan Tarr has it. Burn. Gabby. On to Almiron. Well, no point in stopping play. Advantage with them. Almiron. On to Trippier his opponent completely Newcastle trailing and looking for inspiration from this corner played over and thwarting his opponent in the nick of time this could be the equaliser and he's done it Parity again a magnificent game unfolding well here it is again and the defending simply isn't good enough they have to react quicker, deal with the danger and show more urgency. None of which they did, and that's the result. Well, warned by the referee, but not cautioned. Well, he can't say he hasn't been warned now. That's good from the referee. Dallo. On to Bruno Fernandes. And a confident clearance. Opportunity to deliver the cross. He cuts it back. Well, really rifling that one in, and he didn't miss by much. Not messing around with that clearance. Fernandes. Dallo. On to Casimiro. Rashford. It did look on for them, but not to be. He's 
attack. This might be ideal for the counter. Well, so many possibilities, but it didn't happen for them. And the flag has been raised here. Well, there can't have been a lot in that. Oh, great vision. Anthony Gordon. In position. And you've just witnessed a moment of truly high-class goalkeeping. You're absolutely right. What a save that is. He's reacted so quickly. And a good-looking ball. Oh, super header. But the goalkeeper was up to the task. Corner once more. And they're going for the short one. Well, this is a big moment, and don't these fans know it? But he's gone short with it. Crossing into the middle. And the header just clearing the crossbar. Well, I think he'd be slightly disappointed because once he gets to it first, that's a chance. What to like about that pass? Well, slightly off target. And that'll be a throw-in. And he could give it away. Isaac. Here's Almiron. Pivotal moment defensively. The referee spotted the infringement and it will be a free kick in a position of genuine menace. Great defending here. Just can't get it past them. And that... So the two teams have switched around and the second half is underway. The pass not finding its target. Franks. No advantage coming into play, and rightly so. Well, we wondered if this deal was going to be done. In fact, it has now been done, Stuart. Well, certainly a lot of focus on the boy over the last year or two, and he seems to have a bright future ahead of him. Hopefully it turns out to be a good move and he can continue to develop his career. Franks. Plenty of support here. Target. The fans are shouting, shoot! Strong but fair tackle. They know they need to stop him. Well, nothing comes of it. It looked promising. Now counter-attacking possibilities. That's a high-quality pass. And he's made the run. Nicely saved. Throw in to Manchester United. Well, they are committed to making the substitution here. Not away completely. Well, all doing their bit to keep them out. Well, make sure you join us for more Premier League action coming your way. It's Newcastle United facing Manchester City. Can they create something? And up for grabs off the keeper. Will this corner bear fruit for them? Going short. And played in. A goal! He's dispatched it! Much to the sheer delight of the fans! Well, here's the replay, and it's a well-worked corner. They go short, change the angle, and then put the ball into the box. And it ends up with a fairly simple finish. Certainly not much the goalkeeper can do about that. So there we have it. 2-1. Distribution.
Referee spotted the little nick on the way through, so a throw in coming up. Bruno Guimaraes. Well, they have it again. Rashford, fine pass. Frantic action from one end to the other. They weren't ahead for long, and this match is level again. Well, here's the replay. What a pass this is from Rashford. And the finish is clinical. It just makes it look so easy, doesn't it? So underway again at 2 all. Ten minutes to go. Gordon. It's Dan Byrne. Gabby couldn't hang on to it Newcastle five minutes remaining and level pegging here well time is running out to get this winner but the fans certainly believe it's come it certainly wasn't a clean tackle and the referee has got to book him I think a move of promise. Is it going to end with them scoring the winning goal? But they took care of the situation defensively. Now oh, breaking at pace is always a possibility. Real chance. And danger still. And second time around, he scores. But the keeper left to wonder what his defenders were doing. Well, as you can see, the first save is a good one, but they can't react quickly enough to the second ball. The keeper's a bit unlucky, really. Manchester well, back underway, and a glut of goals here. 3-2. And the referee is going to add on four added minutes. Trailing as they are, they're not likely to get too many opportunities late in this game. Well, play stopped. It is a free kick. Well, he gave it quite the whack, but not on target. And it's a quality pass. The final whistle has sounded and Manchester United will go into the second leg with the lead. Well, at this stage of the tournament, you'd take any lead going into... This is it, a can't-miss game and a backdrop to match what is a special occasion. The fans had this one circled on their calendars long ago and now it's a matter of who will dominate on the pitch. Top players, big characters on the big stage, a highly exciting prospect. Stay with us, we'll have all the action for you from Manchester here on EA TV Live.